This has been a work in progress for sure. I'm standing in front of the amphitheater on the north end of Miser Park in downtown Boca Raton, which has been host to a number of live shows and community events for the past 30 years. But as the greater Boca Raton area continues to grow and expand, community leaders feel venues like this need to evolve as well. The idea started to materialize into something more formal in early 2022. Then in October, in a special city council session of the Boca Raton Redevelopment Agency, council members voted four to one to approve a new $115 million expansion of the amphitheater, making it the Boca Raton Center for Arts and Innovation. Believe it or not, the one dissenting vote was Boca Raton's Mayor Scott Singer. He has a few concerns about the project. He wants to confirm the construction cost and cross-check those prices. Additionally, he wants to nail down the logistics for the project timeline. After all, these may be fair requests. Who's going to pay for this project with estimated costs of about $115 million? Fortunately for any taxpayers that are opposed to this project, the Boca Raton Center for Arts and Innovation will be funded privately via donation. And as far as donors goes, there doesn't seem to be a shortage of them. If you check out the center's official website page, we can see that 46 entities have already donated publicly. And according to the official Facebook post that I recently saw, donations have already surpassed the city's year one fundraising threshold. That's nearly $30 million in commitments. This includes an anonymous $10 million donation. The post also states that construction is expected to start in 2025, which is not too far away, so that's pretty exciting. It's a very unique and interesting proposition. Instead of just tearing down any of the existing structure here, developers intend to build what is described as a structural curtain. So the new addition will just go over and around the current amphitheater. What's cool about this proposal is it'll allow the amphitheater to be closed in for climate controlled performances. And on top of that, there will be an added mixed use space to give the center more versatility overall. The timing of this project to me seems to make quite a bit of sense. Boca really wants an upgraded fine arts mixed use project that can accommodate a lot larger crowds and compete with cities like West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami. And now with the Bright Line right across the street, people can conveniently access downtown Meisner Park from all over South Florida, let alone Orlando. So this is just one more reason why Boca Raton's evolution is creating more permanent residents as time goes on here.